Man, I don't even know how to tell you guys this, dude. There's really no easy way. And I feel like every other week I do a video like this. And I'm so glad I'm able to do it because they make me so much money. <laughs> totally joking. I'm actually a little bit under the weather. But we all kind of heard this thing. And I heard it not too long ago. I think, honestly, Kanye West was the one who really brought this up in front of everybody. When he tweeted that one time a long time ago, he was like, they should remove likes on social networks or Twitter or whatever. And I think Instagram really took that to heart. And I think... That is one of the main reasons why they're doing it, but also there's a lot of other reasons too. But here's pretty much what Instagram is doing, and I'm reading this from an article from TechCrunch, so shout out to them. But the article reads, Instagram hides like counts and leaked design prototype. And I saw that and I was like, oh my God, here we go again. Another social network messing up something that really was not even broken in the first place. They kind of do bring up a good point, and I don't know if it's necessarily the best thing ever, but basically here's what Instagram is going to do, okay? This is pretty much a statement that they say inside of the leaked prototype. Now, this is not out to the public yet, but they say, we want your followers to focus on what you share, not how many likes your posts get during this test. Only the person who shares a post will see the total number of likes it gets. And then and then they kind of go on further. And then they show the images of what the leaked prototype will have, basically. And you can see this person post the image. And right below it, you see that it just says it's liked by whoever, whoever you follow. And if there's mutual likes, then I'll show you that. But it's not going to show the people how many likes you get. So if you get like thousands and thousands of likes, then it's not going to show it. But if you get like 30 likes, that's also not going to show it. All it's going to show is whether somebody liked it or not. And then you as a person who posts the photo can see it and view how many times it got posted or how many views the videos got or something like that. And I find that to be the craziest thing ever now. I'm super salty about that because first of all, I kind of started popping on Instagram. So make sure you guys follow me on there. <laughs> There's a name you guys already know, but the other thing is, is like my leaked renders and everything, bro, they just started getting popular. Like I spent so much time on them and people are actually starting to post them again. <laughs> For example, my render of the iPhone SE 2, these guys, they did get permission, so they didn't steal the photo. So shout out to them. They got permission first. This page, you know, they posted my thing. Freaking 12,000 through 239 likes, dude. I don't even have that many followers. I'm so salty about that. And then these people also posted it. Look, another like almost 6,000 likes on this. And that kind of makes me feel kind of good. I know it really shouldn't, but... Knowing that the renders that I make and I spend time on are actually getting, you know, kind of seen by people kind of makes me feel kind of good. And I know that's not the best thing ever, but it's not like, oh, I feel more popular or anything. But if Instagram removes the likes, wouldn't that necessarily mean that a lot of these influencer people getting like business opportunities and things like that, wouldn't that kind of eliminate the amount of funding that goes into them? I mean, for example, if somebody gets like 500,000 likes on a photo and a company wants to go out to reach out to them, you know, they might have like... 2 million followers, but if they're getting like 500,000 likes per photo, that's huge engagement versus someone who has like 25 million followers, but only gets like 100,000 likes per photo. So that really shows, I mean, for example, with mine, you see like 6,000 followers, whoever, I get almost like a thousand likes per photo, probably give or take, which is still kind of a lot to be honest. So in terms of that, that engagement, I mean, it's not crazy high or anything like that, but, but that's kind of given. I mean, I don't have like millions of followers, so that's one thing. But what I'm trying to say is for people who want to sponsor content, they're really only going to base that number of how much, you know, whether they're going to sponsor them or not and how much they're going to pay them based off their follower count. Now, if Instagram removes the follower count as well, then that could mean a different thing. But because they're keeping the follower count and not showing the likes, that pretty much means that people are only going to be able to look at the followers to determine how much that person is worth. So, for example, I could see people just buying a bunch of followers off like some random website funding their account and they're getting sponsorships because on the app, it looks like they're like a bunch of followers and huge engagement. But you can't really determine that if they remove the likes. And me personally, I'm not really going to be affected too much because I don't even do sponsorships at all. But And if I did, they would be on YouTube and not necessarily Instagram. But if they were to do that on Instagram, I could see how it would affect so many people. And this is what I'm saying. Don't even update your Instagram. I guess you could update it temporarily. But once this prototype comes out, once it's official, which I think it is probably going to be, is going to affect a ton of people and a bunch of influencers. And I just find it to be an extremely unnecessary thing. I do kind of understand some points of it, like you shouldn't be basing your like content or what you're going to post based off the likes that you're going to get. But I think it's much deeper than that. I think, you know, a lot of people, like I said, do depend on Instagram solely for their income and everything. And I just think that if they were to go and just remove the likes, that would affect a ton of people. The same thing with Twitter. It's, it's just like removing the views from YouTube. It's like some people have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers, even possibly millions, but they will probably only get like 10,000 views a video. So how would you determine that? Would you just look at the subscriber count and see, okay, they have, you know, millions of subscribers. So we can spend, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars on an ad where only like 10,000 people 
are going to watch the video, you know what I mean? So it's kind of a different viewpoint. I think looking at it as someone who, you know, uses Instagram for income and stuff, it could really affect them. And of course, there's people out there who, you know, want to be popular and they have like, they want to get like hundreds of likes per photo. And obviously they want to post stuff and get likes, obviously. So that would affect them as well. But man, that is some crazy stuff. Don't update your Instagram anytime soon. <laughs> Hopefully they don't do this because if they do this then probably other social networks are going to follow it too. But that is pretty much where I'm going to end it off man. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that will mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really discounts, so it will mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well, my Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I would really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.